welcome Richard Ryder. Hey, everybody, how are you? My name is Richard Ryder. I will be your gay for this evening. Do we have any gays in the audience? Anybody by applause? Oh, thank God. That means there's makeovers after the show. That's exciting. That's exciting. I think my mother was planning a gay child for a couple of reasons. The first one is she never decorated my nursery. She just waited for me to do it. <laughs> a lot of sample books and paint chips. And the other reason is because she named me Richard Ryder, a name that just shortens right down to Dick Ryder, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, public school was a hoot. The running, the name callings, the beatings. Teachers are mean, but the kids I went to school with, they were all pretty good about it. They were all like, well, how do you get dick from Richard? I told them, you gotta ask me nice and buy me a present. <laughs> and then we'd run some more. <laughs> I miss the exercise. Oh. But straight people are hoot. I love straight people. I love straight girls because you all get your boobs out and thank you. I like boobs. People say to me, you're gay, you can't like boobs. All men like boobs. All men like boobs. You know what men like more than boobs? Big boobs. You know who doesn't like the big boobs? Girls with small tits. The girls... And I say to them, you'd act the same way if you came across a big penis. Came across it, I could barely get my hand around it. What did you just say to me? I like the international sound for big boobs. Y'all know what that is? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? It's like hugging a stripper, you don't have to tip. It's nice. There's no international sound for a big penis, though, unless it's choking. Or applause. I still wouldn't know. I like straight guys. Straight guys are fun, ladies. Aren't straight guys fun, you know? I like straight guys for one reason and one reason only. They drink and eventually pass out. Then it's my turn. <laughs> I'll show you how to spoon, I yell. <laughs> they can't hear me because they're crying and facing the other way. The point is, I particularly like those straight guys from the Jackass movies. Have you all seen those? You know, the Jackass movies? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, you'd have sex with one now because they're millionaires, but 10 years ago, get off my lawn, you freak. I know, I know. They did this weird thing in one of their movies. They did this stunt where they took that carnival game, you know, where you hit the, the thing and it hits the bell, and they took the thing off and replaced it with a dildo. <laughs> then Buddy hangs his naked ass over the top of this thing, and they all get in a line and take turns hitting it, and up it goes. It was the gayest thing I'd ever seen. I was so impressed, I took notes during the movie. I'll tell you, if I'd known back in high school that straight boys got that drunk and then got that naked and then shoved that much up their own asses, I'd have butched it up and gone to a kegger. Not all straight people are fun, though. Not all straight people are fun. Uh, somebody comes to mind is Sally Kern. Do y'all remember her? She was that, uh, that Republican representative from Oklahoma City during the Obama-thon to the White House. She was quoted as saying that gay men were worse than terrorists. <laughs> Who the hell is she having in her house? Seriously, seriously, think about it. If you have a terrorist and a gay man in your house, the chances of the terrorist blowing up your house are there. <laughs> I'm not saying he's gonna, but it's there. The worst the gay guy's gonna do is blow your husband. And really, isn't that just a night off for you? Isn't that nice? She also said that America had to brace itself against the homosexual agenda. I went through my daytimer, and let me tell you, the only thing in this homosexual's agenda was Pride 2010. Woo! That's it. That was it. If I were a lesbian, there'd been a couple of trips to the Home Depot and maybe a potluck. That would have been the difference. That would have been the difference. They're very busy, the lesbians. They're kind of like the Oompa Loompas of the gay community. <laughs> Which explains their shoes. <laughs> but don't say that to a lesbian. Do not say that. She'll get angry at it. Don't make her throw her cats at you. She'll do it. Don't, don't drive while you're right into a corner. Seriously, don't do it. 